Hi, my name is Dave Terry with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, and we're working in partnership with the PAA to kind of demonstrate some important things that anglers need to know about how to uh, take care of fish after on weigh-ins. And one thing I'd like to talk about today is the importance of, of making sure that you have good low water temperatures in your fish holding facilities. Um, also to make sure that that, oxygenate, uh, that water is also very well oxygenated. Um, there are some simple tools that, a, that an angler can use um, to help put oxygen in the water and to monitor the temperature you know, during the course of a weigh-in. Um, uh, this is a very, very simple meter right here. It's just a small YSI meter. Um, what it does is it monitors uh, temperature um, on the bottom there and oxygen level in the water. Of course, fish breathe like people do. You know, they, need, they need oxygen um, to support their life and uh, um, it's really important to make sure that they have sufficient oxygen in the water while they're being held in these, in these water vats. Um, in order to know where you're at in terms of temperature and oxygen, it's important to have one of these meters and these can be bought for a couple hundred bucks. Um, they're very, very affordable. Um, it's really simple. All you got to do is it's got a small little probe right there. You just submerge that probe um, in the water. Um, you can assign a person at your weigh-in to, to monitor the temperature and oxygen during the course of the weigh-in. If you can see the, the gauge right now, um, it looks like we're supporting right now about 9.7 parts per million oxygen. That's plenty of oxygen. Right now it's already bumped up to 10. Um, that's plenty of oxygen to support the life of the fish. If you put a lot of fish in there, they're going to use the oxygen up quick. Um, you'll see below that we have a temperature there of 64.8 degrees. That's a good cool water temperature. That's a good temperature to maintain your fish at. Um, you can change the temperature in the tank by simply adding ice to the tank. Um, so if you can assign a person there to do that, uh, um, you'll, you'll have a great weigh-in and you'll ensure good survival of the fish that you're catching. Um, if you look down in the tank down here, you can see that we're bubbling oxygen into the water and you can see that's done through a small air stone. Ideally what you'd like to do is you'd like to get the, the air to be very, very diffuse. See the small bubbles? That helps incorporate the oxygen into the water quickly and very efficiently. And anybody who owns a, you know, a, um, a, works in a welding shop or whatever has access to an oxygen tank which I have sitting down here on the ground right here. And all you have is a small oxygen tank, which you can rent at any welding shop, and then a regulator, which is common, you know, for for uh, for for um, um, for monitoring the amount of oxygen that goes into the tank. All this stuff can be picked up by guys that uh, you know um, with the equipment they probably have around their shop. So, just a few tips about fish care that are really important into making sure that the fish that you catch today survive to be caught again tomorrow.